group of scientists in the UK have developed a groundbreaking IVF technique that reduces the risk of genetic disease. This will change the lives of women who are affected by mitochondrial disease, who run the risk of having a baby who is severely affected and very unwell. We have good data to say that this, this is, is fascinating. So eight healthy babies have been born with the help of a technique called pro-nuclear transfer. So what is that? Well, it uses the DNA from three people instead of two to help mothers avoid passing on mitochondrial disease. For a closer look at this technique, I'm joined by scientist Louise Hislop. Louise is a consultant embryologist at Newcastle Fertility Centre. She is one of the core scientists involved with the development this morning. Good morning to you. Great to have you on. Good morning, Lindsay. Thanks for having me. So why does this technique require the DNA from three people to form an embryo? We need the um, DNA from the donor, from a donor's egg, because the um, donor provides her mitochondria, um, which are nice and healthy. So, so basically, women are at risk of mitochondrial disease if um, their mitochondria are um, unhealthy and have a mutation in their mitochondrial DNA. So um, if there is a, a mutation in the mitochondrial DNA, um, it basically means that those mitochondria can't produce the energy that our um, cells need to function. And so these diseases particularly affect um, tissues such as the heart um, or the brain that need a lot of energy to function. So what we do during the technique is we, um, we fertilize an egg from mum mm -hmm. and we fertilize egg um, from the donor. We take the nuclear DNA from the uh, from mum's fertilized egg and transfer that to the fertilized egg um, of, a, of the donor that's had its nuclear DNA removed. So what you get left with is an embryo that has the nuclear DNA from mum and dad. So that provides all the characteristics of, of the individual. Mm. Um, a nice healthy mitochondria from the, from the donor that's not affected with this disease. So the disease is no longer there. And this is quite common. I mean, we know that around one in every, what, 5,000 people are affected by mitochondrial disease. How severe can that be? It, it can be extremely severe in that um, babies, when they're born, don't live very long. Because mm. um, as I say, you know, if these mitochondria are not producing the energy that our cells need to function, then, um, you know, it, c it can affect the heart quite quickly after birth. But in saying that, you know, some people can have this disease and it doesn't affect them at birth. It can affect them later on in life. And that's when we see ladies that that um that have babies and they don't actually realize that they themselves have mitochondrial hmm. disease until they have these affected children this treatment has been in in the works for in progress for about a decade so who are these families like who are these eight babies and and how did they come to be part of this so in terms of where we are in the UK, it's the treatment is very heavily regulated. So these women, um, they were known to the local specialised centre um, because they have mitochondrial disease. And because of the levels of um, the mutation that they had, they were at high risk of passing on severe disease to their children. Mm. Um, and until this technique came along actually there was you know there was other treatment options just weren't available that this treatment option is is the first really for them what are the risks here with this this type of technique so the risks are that as i said you, you we're moving the nuclear dna from um the, the patient's egg, fertilized egg into the donor's fertilized egg. And it's impossible not to take over some of those abnormal mitochondria from mum's um, fertilized egg to the donor's. So there is a risk that the, the baby will have a small amount of um, mum's abnormal mitochondria. Um, but 
we have a clinical trial ongoing following up these children and what we know is that of the eight children that were born mm. five of them had undetectable levels of mm. of mum's abnormal mitochondria um in three of them they there was a very low level um but it was at such a low level that we we know that um, those children are at very low risk and unlikely to develop any mitochondrial disease in the future. It is absolutely fascinating. Scientist Louise Hislop, thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. If you like that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed, where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.